Today I'm listening to Call Me When You're Sober by Evanescence for the first time. Let's do this. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video where I listen to your favorite songs. For the first time, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and like this video so I can listen to your favorite songs as well. So uh, a lot of you have been requesting more Evanescence since I believe my Lithium video, and here we are. I did do a music video reaction to Bring Me to Life last week, and I want to do more of those because I've never seen a lot of these music videos to songs I do love. So stay tuned for that but for right now this is a song i've never heard before i love amy lee um i think just an amazing songwriter and like i know a handful of songs like i know going under i know bring me to life i uh, now know lithium so from what i've heard evanescence is awesome what else can i say so get your headphones on let's do this Don't cry to me if you loved me oh do i know this song It does sound familiar. I might know it, actually. Oh, nice harmony. Oh, that bass in the background. Oh, hold up. That bass in the background is just lighting this place up. It's hard to hear unless you have headphones on, but it is just going. But when the guitar stops, all you hear is that bass, and it's so nice. I love that simple drum fill right before the the chorus there. Like again, super simple, super quick. It doesn't need to be over um, bare. the way she's going up and down those vocal lines there. Whoops. That's good. That's good. That's Amy Lee, baby. Oh, that's some, that was some cool musicianship. sure who the guitarist is but unless you play guitar you don't understand uh what he's doing between those palm mutes by adding a little bit of um, melodic uh what the word i don't want to say a riff but kind of a riff um is really it fits the song so well <laughs> it's really really good i think he's coming here love it That was a nice note when she said late there. I love how she ends off on like a, like a, she just say late. It's like a lay kind of sound and she, she it flows right into that chorus so nicely. Oh, a little piano. Nice little faded 
drum there. I love about her vocals is the fact that she can either hold a note for as long as she wants or she does these like crazy modulations in her vocals and she just like it, it the talent that she has i feel like amy can sing anything i feel like you put her in like literally any genre like yes she's clearly in grunge rock uh, emo metal whatever you want to call it because everyone's gonna call it something different and everyone's gonna have their own opinions about it but I bet you if you put her in pop, if you put her in country, you put her in R&B, she'll nail everything. Like, she is such a versatile singer. a little bit of like a is there violins or a synth in the background yeah, here. yeah it is really well mixed oh she's so good evanescence is just like she's just so good she's such a good singer and like like again just small tiny things like you heard the little the violins in the back and a little bit of synth in there like small things that this band does and that uh, of course you got to give credit to you know the, the production of the song the mixing of the song but they're just so good like no two songs sound the same they have a distinct sound it's like three days grace uh they have a distinct sound like all three days grace like adam gonti three days grace but Every song sounds different. Like it, it's not like, and I love bands like ACDC. Love ACDC, but ACDC sounds like ACDC. Every single song they have, you literally know it's them because they all pretty much sound relatively the same. And I love ACDC. That's not a shot to them. But with Evanescence, with Three Days Grace, and again, just talking about Amy Lee, they have a sound. But no song I've heard so far sounds anything alike from each other. So, like, so good. What's another song you want me to listen to? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, take care.